Bearing witness, breaking the silence on the tragic fate of the Palestinian people. The tragic fate of the Palestinian people has been a subject of immense suffering and injustice, marked by historical trauma, displacement, and ongoing conflict. Despite the harrowing experiences endured by Palestinians, their plight often remains shrouded in silence on the global stage. The world's complicity in allowing this silence to persist as innocent lives are lost and communities shattered is a stark reminder of the moral failure that permeates international discourse. In examining Palestinian resistance literature and personal reflections on suffering, it becomes evident that there exists a concerted effort to bear witness to the enduring tragedy faced by Palestinians. However, this attempt at bearing witness is frequently met with attempts at silencing or marginalization. The suppression of Palestinian voices not only perpetuates their sense of exile but also serves as an indictment of global indifference towards their struggle for justice and dignity. Moreover, within postcolonial studies and cultural representations, gaps and silences emerge as deliberate mechanisms employed to deny or downplay the enormity of the Palestinian tragedy. This intentional erasure further exacerbates the marginalization experienced by Palestinians while reinforcing narratives that seek to obfuscate historical injustices. Furthermore, media coverage often amplifies this silence through its selective portrayal or outright neglect of international law violations against Palestinians. The absence of comprehensive reporting on Palestinian perspectives contributes to a distorted understanding among global audiences regarding their rights and lived realities. This article seeks to critically examine how these various forms of silencing have contributed to perpetuating the tragic fate endured by Palestinians while exploring avenues for breaking this deafening silence in order to advocate for meaningful change and solidarity with those who continue to suffer amidst geopolitical apathy. In Palestinian resistance literature, the act of bearing witness serves as a powerful tool for reclaiming agency and asserting the lived experiences of Palestinians. Through literary works, poetry, and memoirs, Palestinian writers have endeavored to document the multifaceted dimensions of their struggle, offering poignant insights into the human cost of occupation, displacement, and dispossession. However, as articulated in the article, Slouching Toward a Palestinian Holocaust, authored by a prominent Palestinian intellectual, the act of bearing witness is met with concerted efforts to silence or delegitimize these narratives. The silencing of Palestinian voices not only reflects a broader attempt to suppress their historical truth but also underscores the pervasive nature of their exile and marginalization. As the author of Beyond Silence poignantly reflects, the act of silencing reinforces the sense of exile experienced by Palestinians, making it increasingly challenging to assert their identity and lay claim to their narrative. This deliberate erasure of Palestinian voices perpetuates a cycle of trauma and dispossession, further entrenching their status as perpetual victims of historical injustice. Within the realm of postcolonial studies, the deliberate gaps and silences surrounding the Palestinian tragedy serve to obfuscate the enormity of their suffering. The deliberate concealment of the Nakba, or catastrophe, which denotes the mass displacement of Palestinians in 1948, exemplifies the insidious nature of this erasure. By framing historical injustices as ecological concerns or minimizing their impact, Official Israeli efforts seek to deny the lived realities of Palestinians, thereby perpetuating a narrative that delegitimizes their right to remembrance and restitution. Moreover, the intersection of gender and silence within the Palestinian context presents a unique challenge, particularly in challenging traditional narratives that associate female speech with lasciviousness. By examining the dynamics of silence, speech, and gender within the Palestinian tradition, it becomes evident that the act of bearing witness extends beyond documenting historical injustices to challenging entrenched patriarchal norms that seek to stifle female voices. Teaching the Palestinian tragedy through a presentist lens not only serves to undermine prevailing stereotypes but also underscores the agency and resilience of Palestinian women in reclaiming their narratives. In the realm of global media, the silence surrounding the Palestinian perspective in the coverage of the deal of the century epitomizes the complicity of international discourse in perpetuating this erasure. The absence of substantive engagement with international law, Palestinian rights, and the implications of geopolitical decisions further underscores the marginalization of Palestinian voices within mainstream narratives. This deafening silence not only perpetuates a distorted understanding of the Palestinian struggle but also serves to legitimize policies that perpetuate their disenfranchisement. Overall, 
The pervasive silence surrounding the Palestinian tragedy represents a moral and ethical failure on the part of the global community. By critically examining the mechanisms of silencing within resistance literature, post-colonial studies, gender dynamics, and media coverage, it becomes evident that the act of bearing witness is not merely an act of remembrance but a call to action. Breaking the silence necessitates a concerted effort to amplify Palestinian voices, challenge historical erasures, and advocate for meaningful change that upholds their rights and dignity. Only through confronting and dismantling these silences can the world begin to reckon with the enduring tragedy faced by the Palestinian people and work towards a future defined by justice, equality, and solidarity. Ultimately, the tragic fate of the Palestinian people and the world's complicity in perpetuating their silence represents a profound moral and ethical failure. The act of bearing witness, as evidenced in Palestinian resistance literature, personal reflections, and cultural representations, serves as a powerful testament to the enduring struggle and resilience of Palestinians amidst historical trauma and dispossession. However, this attempt at reclaiming agency and asserting lived experiences is met with deliberate attempts at silencing, erasure, and marginalization. The pervasive nature of these silences, whether within post-colonial studies, gender dynamics, or global media coverage, underscores the urgent need to break this deafening silence and advocate for meaningful change. By amplifying Palestinian voices, challenging historical erasures, and confronting entrenched narratives, the world can begin to reckon with the enduring tragedy faced by the Palestinian people. This necessitates a collective commitment to upholding their rights, dignity, and pursuit of justice. As we reflect on the profound impact of silence on the Palestinian narrative, it becomes evident that breaking this silence is not merely an act of remembrance but a call to action. It is a call to confront historical injustices, challenge complicity, and work towards a future defined by solidarity and equality. Only through dismantling these silences can the world truly bear witness to the Palestinian tragedy and stand in unwavering support of their right to a future free from oppression and dispossession. In doing so, we honor the resilience and unwavering spirit of the Palestinian people, ensuring that their voices are not only heard but also heeded in the pursuit of a just and equitable world. Citations Hamdi, T. 2011 Bearing Witness in Palestinian Resistance Literature Race and Class, 52, 3, pp 21-42. Jara, A, 2010. Palestinian Suffering, Some Personal, Historical, and Psychoanalytic Reflections. International Journal of Applied Psychoanalytic Studies, 7, 3, pp 197-208. Majai, L.S., 2021. Beyond Silence. In Homemaking, pp 43-51. Rightledge. Williams, P. 2015. Gaps, Silences and Absences, Palestine and Postcolonial Studies. In What Postcolonial Theory Doesn't Say, pp. 87-104. Rightledge. Hamamra, B. T. 2016. Silence, Speech and Gender in Webster's The White Devil, A Presentist Palestinian Perspective. Early Modern Literary Studies, 19, 1. Olagbury, M.A., 2015. Telling the Untellable, Dialectic of Silence in Jewish American and Arab American Holocaust Discourse. 3L, Southeast Asian Journal of English Language Studies, 21, 1. Alnajar, A., 2020. The Deal of the Century, How Global Media Silenced the Palestinians. Hamamra, B.T., 2019. A Contemporary Palestinian Reading of Gender Politics in Margaret Cavendish's The Unnatural Tragedy. Journal of International Women's Studies, 20, 2, pp 194-207. Hamamra, B., 2016. Silence, Speech and Gender in Early Modern Drama, A Presentist, Palestinian Perspective. Lancaster University, United Kingdom. Boulis, T., 2023. Breaking the Silence, Pain, Torture, Resistance and Bearing Witness in the Writings of Palestinian Prisoners of War and Administrative Detainees, 1967-2004, Doctoral Dissertation, SOAS University of London.